what was even uh, kind of adding more insult to injury, it took us almost two or three years in hiring a private attorney to actually find out that we matched a meat recall. On August 1st, my son was already in the hospital. They did an E. coli test at the plant that was positive. They didn't end up recalling that meat until August 27th, 16 days after he died. If we have some more hearings, which I'm sure we will, I'd love to have you come and testify. Thank you. Keep fighting. Oh, thank you. You too. You never get over the death of your child. Uh, yes. You find a new normal. Give me that picture. You need that. This way? Yes. We're going this way? <laughs> We put faith in our government to protect us, and we're not being protected at a most basic level. In 1998, the USDA implemented microbial testing for salmonella and E. coli 0157H7. The idea was that if a plant repeatedly failed these tests that the USDA would shut the plant down because they obviously had an ongoing contamination problem. The Meat and Poultry Associations immediately took the USDA to court. The courts basically said the USDA didn't have the authority to shut down the plants. What it meant was that, you know, you could have a pound of meat or poultry products that is a petri dish of salmonella and the USDA really can't do anything about it. A new law was introduced in direct response, and this law became known as Kevin's Law. It seems like such a clear-cut, common-sense type thing. We've been working for six years, and it still hasn't passed. I, I sense that there may be an opportunity, an enhanced opportunity, to get this signed into law this time. You know, I think from the standpoint of the consumer, a lot of people would support the idea of paying a little more if they could be guaranteed, uh, you know, a, a higher standard of safety. Yeah. Uh, but, I, you know, I also know that there are other players, you know, in the know. food production chain, uh, that tend to, tend to worry about that because it's going to be seen as an add-on to their costs.